Let's demonstrate more web application security. Yes, we're now going to focus on AWS WAF or AWS Web Application Firewall. We will first test our hack site, our vulnerable web application. We will test if it's vulnerable to cross-site scripting or XSS. Then we're going to create Web ACL. Web ACL, basically a policy configuration in our AWS WAF. We are also going to create rule for XSS and we'll test if it will be able to protect our web application from XSS attacks. I'm here now in our web application stick show blog and this is via sticks ELB. We are going to first test if it's vulnerable to cross site scripting or XSS. So I will first log in. I'm going to use test user. I'll input my password. There you go. We just sign in. I'm going to click this icon, the stick show icon, and this will take me to the actual blog page. Now we're going to make this super simple and I'll just simply copy a very basic script. This is a JavaScript where any, any message that we input will just simply a message that will pop in a small window. So I will say, are you okay? Foster Wolf. Okay, so let me submit this message. If I hit submit, you see what happened? Okay, it popped up something. And uh, to test that further, I will go back to the homepage and then I will click again, the stick show logo. And as you can see, there is again, a pop-up window. Are you okay, Buster Wolf? Now, this is the effect of the script that we input, okay? Which means uh, it will alert, it will give us a pop-up alert with a specific message. I'm gonna click okay. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna configure our ELB. Um, well, before we configure, let's first look at our ELB. So I'm here in our EC2 console and I'm gonna click load balancer. Okay, so this is our load balancer configuration. We only have one ELB, six ELB is the name. And if I go to this tab, integration tab, you will see that there is an AWS WAF uh, configuration portion here. Okay, actually it's not configuration portion, integration portion. This, you will be able to identify if there is an AWS WAF integrated to your ELB. And it says here, no integration detected. If I hit refresh, it's still none because we haven't really created anything on the AWS WAF side. Now, I can simply uh, click create web, web ACL and this will take me to the AWS WAF uh, page. Okay, and from here, we can create policies. Okay, um, all right, so we're getting an error. That's okay. We'll just go to Web ACL. Okay, or we can create Web ACL from the home page. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but I prefer doing this. And uh, let's first select Asia Pacific Singapore because this is where I um, look, this is my location. All right, so I will start creating Web ACL by clicking this button create Web ACL. And this will take me to web ACL creation page. So first I will need to make, I will make sure that my region is Singapore and uh, I'm gonna name this as web policy or web pol. Okay, what else? Uh, associated to resources. Now I can associate this web ACL to our ELB now under this option or I can skip it and then later will associate it using um, tab configuration. So I'll just skip this so I can show you later how uh, it can be associated to our 6ELB. Now under rules, I'm gonna create a rule and uh, our rule um, should be add my own rules and rule groups, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a rule. I'm gonna name it XSS protect okay it will be regular rule okay and uh, under if a request matches statement 
it will inspect and then under content type i will just select plain text because json um will be using this more into api or web apis under match type i will use contains okay i did uh, a search contain and i will just simply select contains cross-site scripting injection attacks okay under text transformation i will be selecting four of these html entity decode we'll add the url decode there you go js decode js decode and the lowercase there okay and under choose how to handle web request i will just select continue inspects the contents that are within the size limitation okay now the action if this rule matches what we're going to do is we're going to block that http traffic now i'm going to click add rule okay and this is the only rule we have cross site scripting protect i'm going to click next now uh set rule priority we don't really have to do anything because we only have one rule i'm going to click next click next and uh, i will just click create web acl so as you can see we already have a web acl okay and if we click this we already have rule okay cross site scripting protect now what we don't have yet is the association to our elb even if we, i hit refresh there's still no association okay um to associate this web acl all we need to do is go to associated aws resources and from here i'm gonna click add aws resources as i click add uh, it will provide us multiple options well since we want to associate this web acl to an elb all we need to do is select application load balancer and there's only one available application load balancer in our account and that is six elb i'm gonna select it and i'm gonna click add Okay, it's adding now. And as you can see, successfully associated web ACL to our Stix ELB. Now, if I go back to our Stix ELB page, I'm going to hit refresh. And as you can see, it says here, integration detected. Okay, now we're going to test this by going back to Stix ELB web application. Okay, and uh, what I will be doing is very basic. I will just simply input our um, script. Okay, so I just did a simple copy and paste using this JavaScript. Um, same script, but with a different message. So this time, what I'm going to do is I will add uh, this is or internet. I am the internet action star. Okay, now based on the web acl and the rule that we created this cross-site scripting should be blocked let's test i'm gonna click submit now and boom there you go as you can see our cross-site scripting attack is now blocked in our page it says 403 forbidden this is just the basics of aws web application firewall or aws waf what we did is we just simply blocked cross-site scripting attacks. In the next videos, we'll be looking at more AWS WAF features and more web application hacking.